Guys, I want to just thank you. This is a first time that we have uh, given this a try um, to kind of have a before you roll meeting. Uh, the purpose of this meeting is to kind of give you a little bit of a snapshot of what goes on at the Daniel Boone, uh, but also to kind of maybe minimize and save some time on Friday night and kind of reduce our time that we spend in the first officers meeting. So hopefully you'll find that this is uh, beneficial and will help your troops uh, be able to, to be put together things a lot more effectively and efficiently. So uh, Sean is, even though he's our, he's our, he's our chaplain, he's also our, our technical guy tonight. Uh, this is great. I'm going to have Sean, if uh, we go ahead and pull up the before you roll uh, slide uh, first. Okay. We're going to start there. We'll, we'll cover a little bit of the schedule um, a little bit later. Um, but hopefully uh, everybody can get something. If you have some questions, uh, please go ahead and throw them in the chat box um, just as you go. And that way we'll have a little uh, question and answer at the end. So um, so officially the, the title of this course is Jim Ramey's Daniel Boone Base Camp 101 in 2001. And it's our before you roll. And our theme for this this time is never do for a boy what he can do for himself. And that's what Jim said. So welcome. And uh, so we're going to cover a few items. Um, I just want to let you guys know, um, leaders and um, instructors in the various areas, I want to let you know that I'm praying for your growth, not only yours as leaders, but also each and in all of your boys that are going to be attending, all the trailmen of all ages. Pray that this event will, will glorify and, and honor our Lord. And that um, the great thing would be is I hope that the guys that will be in attendance will see God in a new and exciting way. So kind of a theme verse. I'm still working on this, so don't, don't completely hang your hat on this. Uh, but it says, and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people. Trailmen work walk worthy. It's my little addition, who will also be qualified to teach others. That's Second Timothy 2:2. 2, 2. You know, in order for the boys to do what they need to do, we've got to be faithful teachers. So right from the get-go, um, let's talk about some of the stuff regarding surrounding the event. Parking is always, always, always a big deal. Um, so here's here's the guideline. One trailer, one tow vehicle allowed in the campsite. All others must be moved to the parking, uh, parking area by 9 p.m. on Friday, okay? Make sure that either you have, make provisions to get it unloaded by that time or get the wagons to move the materials from the parking area. We're gonna be, we have to be tough on this because it is just a major safety and logistics nightmare once it gets dark. Um, if you do not have a trailer, like a brand new troop, uh, then you'll be allowed to have two vehicles at the campsite. Basically, one is serving as your trailer. So uh, we're going to have no vehicle movement from the parking area or the campsites uh, from 9 p.m. on Friday until departure. So uh, that's always been a, a point of contention. Uh, we've had cars sitting in the, in the campsites way too long and even into the following morning. Nope, we just got too many guys. I say too many guys already, this is good news, already we have 400 trailmen registered. And of course the closing closing time for that is nine, or excuse me, is midnight um, on the ninth, that's this Saturday. So if you're on, on, the, on the line and you haven't got your stuff in, you got midnight on Saturday to get that in. Another question that always comes up is, can non-registered parents attend? Yes, they can. They can, but they need to fill out the proper medical forms. This is the Trail Life Adult Medical Forms. Uh, they need to be instructed on the basics, basics of uh, CYSPT, so our youth protection. They need to tent with their son. 
and any other troop or trail life guide requirements. Uh, so make sure to scour the health and safety guidelines um, to, to make sure that everything is covered in that way. How about registration, roster, and check-in? So when you're coming in the, coming in the gate, um, you're gonna arrive, you're gonna get some directions as to where you're gonna camp. There might be a runner that'll help you get to where you need to go. You need to get settled. Then we want the troop masters to come back to HQ, uh, check in with our final roster. So you'll, you'll, we'll show you that sheet here in a little bit. Um, be prepared to answer questions about medical and COVID for your troop. So as a troop master, you are answering uh, the questions for your entire troop. Make sure to settle up if there's anything, uh, if you've got some more that have more trailmen that are attending. Uh, we want you to complete the check-in by not, or 8 p.m. on Friday. Earlier is better. Um, so we want you to check in with Randy Thayer at the first aid building. And we'll show you a map here in a little bit as to where Randy is going to be. Um, but uh, see Randy for that. So you'll turn the roster into him. He'll ask a few questions and we'll roll on. How about early arrival? We've had some guys show up like at three o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon. We're saying four o'clock on Friday is the earliest. Anything earlier, you'll be guaranteed, guaranteed you'll be voluntold for a project. So if you do want to come in early and you want to help us set up, please get a hold of me and let me know because I've got I got plenty of work to uh, to to go around for everybody. Uh, yes, water is available behind the maintenance building and on the backside of the building east of the pond. Uh, when we pull up the map, I'll show you those. Fires and spent fire materials. So fires must be in a brown, above ground. Um, a lot of times it's, you know, a half of a, of a barrel or something like that. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't burn the grass and no pit style fires. So We've had an occasion where somebody's dug a pit, that in-ground fire, that is not, uh, that's not permissible. Spent firewood must be disposed near the drain outlet um, and nothing in the woods, um, particularly east of the pond. So those guys on the east side of the pond, what, um, I'm trying to think of some ways to get that spent material brought across the, uh, over by the drain. Anybody got a great idea? Please let me know but we do need to put it all in, in that area. Make sure it's dead out, those kinds of things. One thing that happened last year, Eric, was some people heard that drain and yep. they actually stuck it in the drain of the sink. And they yes. them. do not do that. That is not- yeah, Sean, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, that is right on. Um, the, uh, the drain is actually a, a water runoff drain um, and actually, for reference, uh, it's going to be very close to where the pugil sticks will be. So um, kind of look out for, for that. Sean, could you do me a favor? Um, Randy is having a little trouble uh, finding the link. So um, could Randy, you? Randy Thayer. Randy Thayer. Yes, sir. I'll send it to him. Do I need medicals and other forms for guests staying a couple of hours? It's a, whoop, I skipped one. Medicals and permission. Troop masters are to assure they have copies of medicals, permission forms, exemption forms for each person attending, including non-registered. Okay. Make sure you got it on file. Make sure you keep it in triplicate. Um, one for yourself, one that can travel, and one off-site just in case. Okay. Do I need medicals or other forms for guests? Maybe you got uh, somebody coming in. Matter of fact, I have a guest that's going to be coming in. Uh, it's a potential new troop up in up in Lima, Ohio. Um, yes, it's a great idea uh, to have that on file with a troop. They are. They need to check in with Randy, and they need to be escorted by the troop. This is a troop guest, so uh, make sure um, uh, that that is accomplished and you check in with Randy. Hey, did I mention where you can park and what time? Yeah, Friday, nine o'clock. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we get on that trip request. Make sure you file your trip trip uh, troop trip request with your charting organization and the High Adventure Restricted Activity Form. Um, B 
because we've got shooting sports and because this is a, a regional event, um, the high adventure restricted activity form needs to be filed with home office. So every troop needs to do that. Health and safety guideline. Uh, there's been a lot, a lot of changes there, guys. Make sure you're, you are totally abreast of all of those changes. Um, so uh, just sit down and read it. You know, don't, it's only 80 pages. That's it. You know, that's all. Um, so, that, you know, might take you, take me about three or four days, but COVID guide, uh, we'll touch on that here in a little bit, but we use a guide very similar to what we did last year, 2020. Big, here's a real quick summary. Check the temperature before leaving. If sick or starting to feel sick, stay home. Simple. I don't care if it's a boy, care if it's an adult, just stay home. Indoors, mask is needed. Okay, so bring your mask just in case. Outdoors, mask is your option. That's really the summary of the, of the guide. We'll get you on there. All right, let's talk a little bit about some uh, one of the events, okay? So we always have a, a cooking competition. This time, Jim was big into cast iron, loved Dutch ovens. Always, he made his biscuits and gravy, particularly gravy on a huge cast iron, cast iron frying pan. We're going to have two competitions this year, two of them. We'll get into it. Here are the rules for both competitions. Must be fully cooked and served from the cast iron skillet or Dutch oven completely at camp. No pre-cook. Okay, we don't want you to bring. Of course, it must be bacon based. It wouldn't be a Jim Ramey. Uh, we wouldn't be honoring Jim if it if it didn't include bacon. Turkey bacon? Are you kidding me? Don't even bother, guys. Don't even be bothering. We're, that we'll just just don't even show up. Judging criteria, but not limited to the following. You can see it there. We want one single dish. Okay, guys, a single dish. Bring utensils and plates for an, up to six judges. So. Here are the two categories. I call it the BBB, the Better Bacon Breakfast. It's adults only. We're asking, asking max one per troop, depending upon how many troops we can maybe float that a little bit. But this is adults only. This will be for breakfast time. And this is just head to head, man against man, okay? Or man against the beast, uh, being the pig. So bring, bring your best, okay? Uh, we're also calling the, uh, the, tr the youth trailmen. There's a, gonna be called the beacon of hope dinner. Notice the E is in there, but it's all bacon. And the hope is the hope of the future. It's all, all of us young, young guys growing up. No more than two per troop, no adult help. They must do the same. So same thing, guys, same thing. They've got to cook it in cast iron, Dutch oven, it can't be a rehash of breakfast. You know, it's not a reheat of the adult competition. Okay, guys, something original. Again, the adults are for breakfast, but the youth trailmen are at supper time. Okay. All right. Uh, rules for gym coffee. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Too deep leadership. Yes. We really hope by having the, um, by having all of the registrations done on Saturday um, at midnight. Uh, Michelle Adams has done an outstanding job and uh, of keeping me abreast as is Sean, he's monitoring it. Just by the way, we're, we're at about 400, expect about 600, maybe 700 by the end of the week. So we're gonna be really rivaling next year or last year. Um, I really hope to get all the schedules out to the troops as to kind of where are you going to be what activities you're going to do, that sort of thing. So you're dialed in. Folks, again, remember the purpose of this, this early registration, this meeting tonight is so we can kind of get to get to the business of being trailmen and you guys are off and running. And this one here in particular, um, I understand. So there's going to be some where you got woodlands are going to be going in one track Navigators, another track. Adventurers, another track. You may say, hey, I've only got three adults are coming. I don't have two deep leadership to be able to, to go with theirs. Well, we're all registered adults. We all 
So the idea is get with those other troops, figure out what's going to work, and see who's going to travel. All right? We're going to wear one of the things we're asking everybody to do is to wear their lanyard. If you're a registered adult, wear your lanyard. If you don't have a lanyard as your um, as your method um, of, of, of you know of being registered, then um, please you got to have a, a proof of something wear proof that you're a registered adult. Okay, strike up the band. Um, so we'll look at the flyer here a little bit, but we're going to try for a tra trail life first. Uh, Dwight Newell, uh, here it comes. He's going to get it. Uh, Dwight Newell is going to be the uh, conductor, and he's trying to put together a band. And this will be Trail Life's first band. We're going to shoot for um, maybe a couple of songs, but the Star Spangled Banner is definitely one of them uh, that uh, they're going to be practicing. So the idea is Friday night, they'll have band practice. And then on Saturday morning for our opening flags, we're hopefully going to have a full orchestra. Now, this would be marching band style, so nobody bring in their piano or anything like that, okay? Um, but, uh, or, or your bass guitar. Um, so, by the way, that was part of my marching band. When I was in high school, um, we, we marched a, a bass guitar. So that's, that's, a, that's a story for another day. So here's the, here's the information uh, that uh, Dwight's put together. And again, if you've got any questions for Dwight, you can see his email address down here. Um, if, and if you got some concerns about able to be downloaded from the chat, you'll see it in the chat window, guys. Perfect, perfect, Sean. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's that's what we got uh, for our first and hopefully our future um, instrumentation for for the Danya Boom Base Camp. Uh, flags. Um, we want you to bring for flags, troop and patrol flags only. We'll have an American flag there to hoist. Um, and um, we want you to also line up kind of in a pinwheel or bicycle wheel fashion. Um, so one troop will equal one line. So you have your patrols kind of stacked. Um, we're going to have a lot of guys. So plan to arrive early. Uh, we want to, we're going to start, start on time. Uniforms. Uh, troop formal as much as you can for the morning flags. Why? Right after flags is going to be our formal picture that we will be taking. And just to let you know, we've got um, a guy by the name of Colt Sugg. I think I'm pronouncing his last name correct. Uh, Colt, uh, he is a phenomenal guy. Um, and his, uh, his specialty is going to be uh, doing some drone pictures. Uh, throughout the events. So make sure you smile pretty. Don't be picking your nose or anything like that, guys. Um, I'm talking to adults. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Don't be picking your nose. And because uh, it'll be happening. Now, the other side about that is um, no kind of little bit on the uniform side, too, is no contraband. So uh, and I say that meaning um, non uh, non trail life uh, uniform type stuff should be left at home that are promoting other organizations. Restrooms, yes, got to have porta potties throughout the property. One of the concerns that was raised last year was there wasn't enough on the on the east side of that pond. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to move some of the campsites around, and I'll go through the map here in a little bit, so that'll help out. Um, this year, we're not going to have the wash stations. Those were just a, a mess to try to keep up with. They were always out. However, we do encourage troops to build their own um, and use uh, the following website that has some spigots. Um, this was done at our summer adventure this last summer, and it really worked well, really, 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 really worked well by using bar soap. So five-gallon bucket. Um, Maybe we'll, Sean, maybe towards the end, we'll I put that click on that. Chat. So the chat has the link. Um, that comes in a packet of three. Um, if there's, uh, I know you won't need all three, but man, a five gallon bucket of water and that in your campsite works out really well. Uniform drive. Um, so if we can bring that up, uh, Sean, 
uniform drive. Um, Trafina and Jonathan Bedell's um, daughter, uh, they call her Miss O. Um, she is working on her, I'm going to get this right, um, one of her awards in American Heritage Girls. I'm going to, I'm going to butcher it. I apologize to her. Uh, but she is raising, uh, doing a uniform drive, American Heritage Girls and Trail Life uniforms. So if you have some uh, uniforms that are no longer available or, you know, boys aren't able to wear them, not able to pass them around, something like that. Um, there is a, a drive to get um, uniform stuff for American Heritage Girl and Trail Life troops up in the Chicago area. So um, this this will be a part of it, um, uh, part of your packet. And uh, you can see uh, Jonathan Bedell is going to be actually working in the archery area. Um, so uh, you can see Jonathan um, to drop off anything that he might have there. Okay. So and flyer is in the chat too. There we go. All right. We only got a couple more things on the agenda, I think. And then we'll go to a couple of the other forms. Tow, tow vehicles and trailer. Uh, this is just a, this is kind of the before you roll. Do you have all the insurances paid up? Are the, are the vehicles meeting all the rest of necessary uh, van requirements according to, to the health and safety guideline? Check your tire pressure, make sure the lights work, proper chains and hitch. Um, Steve Manns caught me on, on, my, on my hitch uh, or my chains before I was heading out on summer adventure. Um, so check those out before you roll. Check it out now. You got a burned out light, get it taken care of. But the idea is, is that doing those kinds of maintenance type things. Oh, it's been a couple of years since I greased those wheel bearings. Get it scheduled, make it happen. That way you'll have a safe trip, safer trip in and a safe trip getting home. So just a couple of things there. How about checkout? When, the big question is, when can vehicles go to the campsites? We know there are some troops that want to have a Saturday night departure. We're gonna have a small window basically 7.30 to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. That's only for the Saturday night departure people. If you're Sunday, no earlier than 6.30 in the morning, please. I think we had some people at 4.30 in the morning moving their cars last year. So it's gonna be bad enough when they're cleaning the porta potties at that time, all right? Must confirm departure with Randy. So you gotta have the troop master check out. Police your own area before departure. Do the, do the sweep. Leave it better than you found it. Okay, here's here's a little something that's uh, we had somebody kind of hang out. This is must exit the camp area, all camp areas, no later than 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. No matter what, our main HQ area has to be cleared out by 10 a.m. on Sunday. That's because in the building right next to First Aid, uh, they actually have a church service there. So we've got to have all of our cars out and out of the way. So um, we got to we got to stay right on task. Okay, no no uh, can't let any grass grow. You can dispose of your uh, trash in the dumpsters near the en entrance exit, and uh, we got some special guests. So I mentioned one that's going to be uh, Colt and actually his brother uh, doing some photography and. Mark Hancock is going to be there, our CEO of Trail Life. Um, don't know if he's going to be speaking, but knowing Mark, he wants to speak to one of the groups. So we've got a spot uh, picked out for him. Um, if he doesn't want to speak, hey, he may just ring, mingle around. But all of these guys, all of these guys are going to need a meal host. So for breakfast, lunch, supper, and breakfast on Sunday, we want troops to sign up if you want to host one of the guests, okay? So same thing we did last year with Rob and with Mark. Um, when they came in, we want, uh, we, we want troops to, to, uh, to host these. So that's uh, 12 meals we got to support. Never know, they may want to hang out for the cooking competition for breakfast and supper, but I think it'd be great if they're actually in the troops, seeing the troops working, 
exercising the patrol method, we want to get get them a real good taste. And if you get if you get Colt and his brother and or his brother, you might get get on the next uh, next stuff for uh, uh, for some of the marketing stuff. All right. So uh, some support needs. We're going to need some help with parking. Um, already Troop um, 0148 is local right there. Uh, they've got a few guys lined up, but we will need help with parking. We're going to need parking patrol. This is throughout the camp, just making sure there's no trailmen stuck in between a couple of cars, horsing around, uh, maybe even some late night type stuff, things like that. I need two troop volunteers, one for opening, one for closing flags. Uh, if you've got a real spiffy troop uh, patrol, uh, we need we need that. We already talked about the meals for the guests, trashing out, talked about that. We're going to need some extra canopies and tarps. Um, we got a lot of shooting sports, right? So uh, what happens? It starts sprinkling and things like that. We're going to need to have some uh, some tarps and canopies for that. Campsite signage. Um, these we're going to need some runners, uh, kind of before. So if you do want to come early. Uh, we're going to we're going to be able to put you to work doing campsite signage, uh, running for the staff, um, things like that. Staff, uh, let's see, store assistants. If you have, so we're going to have a store. They're going to be we're going to be selling some goodies. There's going to be some snacks, and Michelle's got a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, we're trying to get stuff in from home office. Are we going to have a full set of uniforms? No. Are we going to, are we trying to get some hats? Yes. Um, are we trying to get some of the other stuff? Maybe there might be some handbooks, uh, stuff like that. So uh, Kent Marks is working with Rob Green to see if we can get some stuff in, but don't expect to have, oh, can I get a size, you know, 2XL, you know, um, troop formal? Nope, not going to be available. Okay. So uh, take that for whatever it's worth. We're going to need some help with activity hosts. These are just to kind of guys to shepherd some adults to shepherd troops in and out, making sure we stay on time, directing people to where they need to go, and also some help with instruction. We always need help in, in the BB gun, the slingshots, the archer range, all that stuff. And we also need this year, we're going to do something different. You guys ready? We are actually going to be making our own pins. So you guys are going to get the first shot. You're going to be able to see this is a prototype. It's not totally set yet, but all the trailmen are going to cycle through a station and you're going to be making the pins, but I'm going to have to have somebody to kind of man that station. So kind of got an arts and crafty guy. This would be perfect, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm going to put this into my camera. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. What if you think it's good? No good. Can't see it. <clears throat> Can't see it. Oh, there, there it is. is. There you are. How's it look? Looks good. We've got that, uh, what, that one with a brand, a branding cool. on. Looks good. This, this is actually uh, laser etched. Laser. Okay. Yeah, so so working with a local company. Uh, they're they're laser laser etching this. So we've got we've got Daniel Boone when he was a statesman. We've got actually a Roman numeral eight for the eighth annual. We got 2021. We got the long rifle for Daniel Boone. We got the coonskin cap. We got a couple pieces of bacon. Actually, those bacon are going to come up here. That's going to be actually be a, the final is going to be up here, and then the title kind of keeping the nostalgia of the mountains and the sun and what we've had before the last couple of years, just kind of as a, as a hallmark. So um, this is going to be slightly, this is a little bit bigger. Um, it's going to be an inch and a quarter in size, uh, but I hope everybody likes it uh, because you're going to make your own. So you're going to cycle through and, and make sure it happens. So um I think on the before you roll, I think that was, oh, oh, did I mention parking? Yeah, I think maybe. Okay. Yeah. Parking. Got to get the cars out of the campsite. 
Let's look a little bit at the schedule, Sean. Can we do that? Sure can. There you go. All righty. So, guys, this is this is uh, uh, this is uh, we're going to change some titles and things like that. I forgot to get this one. This is going to be actually uh, Troma and Vespers, but we're going to have at eight o'clock. We're going to have a um, we're going to have worship time. Um, there we go. Thank you, sir. Um, this is uh, we're going to do something different. Um, so we can try to kind of set the tone for, for the camp. So we're going to have Trem and Vespers. Uh, the, the, the trail life band practice will be at 845 first officers meeting. Um, I am really, really striving to keep this at only about 15 minutes. That's why we had this meeting. So 915 lights out at 10 o'clock. Um, so you can see the rest of the schedule that's going on there. I've, I've thrown in Mark, um, you know, down here just before lunch. That may get moved around, but the basic sessions will be about uh, 35 minutes. You get about five minutes of, of moving around uh, to get to the next uh, station. Uh, Jim's Coffee is at about 420. We'll have closing flags and then uh, the Beacon of Hope dinner. You can see that here's the, here's the BBB here for breakfast, okay? We will have a leader's decaf. That's going to be hosted by uh, Steve Manns. And uh, I think all that is an adult only event, adults only. Um, campfire, just let me bring that up. That will be split again. We will have Woodlands uh, on one side and Navigators and Ventures on the other. Um, then the following morning, it's pretty, pretty quick morning, uh, but uh, hopefully full day on Saturday and be ready to uh, everybody have a safe trip out. Okay. So that's the basic schedule. Um, we will continue to update this, but always, as always, it's a fluid thing. So uh, we'll, we'll make sure that everybody can get a, uh, get at least bring your phones to take pictures uh, of the schedule uh, there on Friday night. Okay. One of the things that we're looking for uh, for our chapel service and other things like that is if you have any youth chaplains that would like to participate by reading or uh, giving a prayer or by leading a song, we would love to have them help us. And if you would email me, seanv2 at gmail.com, we would love to incorporate youth trailmen into our chapel service as well into our trailman vespers on friday night so again go ahead and email me i'm glad you brought that up sean because um yes um the the trailman vespers the chapel service but all of the events we are encouraging um adventurers to participate in in the uh the actual training uh, so, matter of fact, we already have a couple of uh, trailmen that are going to be leading a couple of things. Um, and one is going to be on hammocks. Um, he won't be there all day, but uh, he's going to be there for part of the day. And we've got one on, um, oh, um, introduction to flags. So that's going to be kind of a woodlands based uh, thing. So. Um, if there is still something out there that an adventurer would like to do in your troop and can bring his knowledge to bear, um, that, is, uh, that is definitely open. Matter of fact, there's a little incentive, and we'll, we'll let you know how the pot is sweet um, if you volunteer. Okay, Sean, let's bring up the map a little bit. I just want to touch on this a little bit so that guys know. So I've kind of put in a couple of things here. Hopefully everybody can see, but uh, we, we did have some concerns back here along this road. I don't know if, can you see my, uh, my cursor at all? Probably not. Um, on, the east, on the east side of the pond there, Sean, where basically where you were camping there along that road, we're going to try to cut down on the number of campers over there because it was pretty loud. So the campsites will be away from the road. There will be some campers there. We're all camper. There'll be some campers coming around that pond like, like we had last year. 
but also we're going to have campsites in the middle of the field. So um, plan on that. You can see the parking is going to be up along that ridge along the road. Uh, we're going to have some detailed areas lined up and lined out for, for that area. So uh, be prepared for that. Um, camping on the west side is going to be very similar to what we've had in the past. HQ is going to be in the same first aid as in the big building there to the left. Uh, flags will be kind of near HQ. Uh, BB guns, you can see that that'll be kind of up. There's a there's a ridge right there. Um, so that's where BB guns are going to be. Archery, that's where the A is at there. That's in the same same location um, as what we've had before. And slingshots will be kind of in the woods. We're, we're changing our ammunition for slingshots this year. Uh, instead of dog food, which was irregular in shape, uh, we're going with navy beans. So the animals still get fed, but uh, maybe it'll be a little better shot when we hit it. Um, water, I've outlined those. It's on the uh, one side of the maintenance building and on that uh, outbuilding there on the east side of the pond. That's the building that Sean was talking about that people put some uh, burnt wood materials in the drain. So the drain, um, uh, that drain is going to be, Sean, it's just left of that where the uh, slingshots are. Over yeah, right, yeah, down in there, actually a little bit more left. Right in there? Kind of down, uh, a little bit further down. Kind of down in, down in the bottom of that. Yeah, the drain's down in there. So um, that's where that's where we have to put, but it's got to be dead out, that sort of stuff. OK. Um, I think I have covered all of the sheets that I have. Oh, we got one more, actually. One more real quick. And that is the um, uh, the COVID COVID sheet. And it also has the. Uh, rules for Jim's coffee. Should be a Word document there. Gotcha. Thank you. So um, you can read through this. Like I said, I summarized it. We're going to try to follow the CDC guidelines, but um, I'll, I'll just let you go through the lead you. Just kind of slip to the bottom there. Um, uh, upon arrival, um, see the protocol on the before you roll document, um, and then um, that that's self-explanatory. Okay, um, with respect to that, um, slide down a little more there, Sean. I'm not going to go through the details here. You guys can read that. Okay, here's the roster. Uh, make sure it's troop state and number. We might have common numbers. We've got, we've got folks coming from Pennsylvania and Kentucky. So make sure it says, you know, OH and not IO, but OH in my troop is 1613. So put that in there. Who's the troop contact, the cell phone number. Make sure to fill this in and bring this with you um, so that we've got this line. It should line up exactly to what you've got in terms of your registration. So I'm I'm going off the registration from Cheddar Up. Jim's coffee competition and rules. Um, you know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna have th there's actually two categories this year. I call it black and brown. Uh, black coffee or brown coffee. Black is hardcore. It, like taking your coffee black. This is gonna be fire roll, bow drill, pump drill, or fire roll. That's it. Oh, if you want to do rubbing two sticks together, I'll allow that. But that's it. That's hardcore. All friction, all base. If you have an adventure, that adventurer that is involved in competing patrol, you must compete in black. Okay? So if you have an adventure and is going to compete, has to compete black. Brown is what you get at Starbucks, mostly milk and sugar. So we're stepping it down. This is be flint and steel or a magnesium and ferro rods, All right? No matches, no lighters, nothing of the like. It's going to be allowed in either category. All right. Now the rules 
for these competitions are basically the same as what we've had. So you can read down through those, um, down through those lists, through that list, basically build up to the first string, burn through it, burn the top one, um, and then uh, you go from there, okay? Get a water, cup of water, bring it to a boil, get a, uh, it'll be a coffee packet, uh, like a tea, tea bag thing. And then the troop master has to drink the whole thing down. And uh, Sean, if you wouldn't mind all the way at the bottom, there's a little something there on that. I wanna just point out for everybody. Okay, um, there might be a little something, uh, the, the Tinder only, I may modify that a little bit. Um, so be, be on the aware there. Um, and you are responsible for putting your fire out. Here's the one thing that's a little different. Once the first three teams are confirmed as completed and then clean up, and we're going to switch to the other color competition. So we're doing two competitions. So once we get three done, that stops the, that stops the competition. The reason why we say three is because if somebody at the top gets disqualified for some odd reason, We've already got one, one, two, and three, but the top two in each of the categories will get a prize. There's also going to be prizes for the cooking competition. So that's that's it. that's the deal. I saw a note come up. Are are these um, are these things going to be available for download? The answer is yes. Uh, we're going to get those rolled out either yet tonight or or tomorrow uh, evening. Um, but it also kind of depends upon what feedback you guys might have tonight. So, Shauna, is there any more documents that I've got you that got I gave all. to you? Eric, you did got it. them all. Okay. All right, sir. So um, now it's open up for for question and answers, and I'm going to look in the chat too to see what else we've got. Um, there's nothing yeah, yet. They're going to be chat. available for download. Anybody have any questions you'd like to ask? You can unmute yourself and and uh, let us know what your question would be. Eric Tanner, this is uh, Nick Bates from O one one six. I have a question. Hey, Nick. How are yes, you, sir? I am using. Good. How uh, are you? I'm well. Um, I'm using Tony Robinson's laptop. I uh, am not real computer literate with this. Are you going to email yeah. the documents out to the people that left their email addresses on Cheddar Up? So these are going to be put out for download. Sean, what do you think is going to be the best way to do this? Well, we'll probably we'll make it a is download give you an link? email okay. with a download okay. link for all of them in a Dropbox. So you will have okay. that more than likely tomorrow, not tonight, but tomorrow for sure. And there will also be in that email link for this recording so that anyone can watch and observe it. But yeah, we'll have all these documents there. So okay, perfect. If the links up above and didn't get them that that's okay. And they'll be in that Dropbox as well. Right. It, it's just not my device is the reason I'm asking. So thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Anybody else have any other questions? Here's Eric, a, I I've got a question for you. Well, no, Tony, you can't have a question. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Go okay. ahead, Tony. Um, two Go ahead, questions, buddy. actually. Number one, you said you wanted me up there early for parking. Well, and yeah, let's let's take care of that offline. Do we have anything yes, directly we can. related? Yes, we can. To okay. Then the okay. other thing that I wanted to find out about is uh, we had, I, I asked uh, through you and Kent about having 104.9, the radio station up there. Mm -hmm. Are we going to need to have uh, the uh, medical forms for them as well? They're a guest. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's going to be tough. Guest. <laughs> That's going to be tough. Well, okay. That won't be too tough. Okay. Yeah. They, right. can, they can fill it out. Yep. Okay. When they get yep. there. Okay. If they want to Sounds get it good. when they get there, just have a hard copy for them to fill out. Yeah, they got to check I, in with Randy anyway. So, yep. And do you we still want radio station? And do you still want me to invite the Ramey family? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
That's good. Very good. How about I'll troops? How many uh, troops? Okay, question. I have a question for you since there's not too much for me. Um, what did I miss? What things did I not cover? Some of you experienced guys. Hey, Eric, you yeah, didn't talk I'm, about this. Hey, this is Ernie Miller from uh, Hudson Troop. Um, one, Hi, Ernie. H190. Um, are you going to assign us uh, camp, you know, where we should camp, which area? I, we've never been to this before. We won't have a whole lot of boys there. Uh, we're really newbies at this. So uh, yeah, how does that work? Um, so yeah, great question, Ernie. Yes, we do assign um, a, a uh, camp area where you be. Uh, you'll be assigned a certain spot. Um, I will say, if if you say um, I really I really want to camp next to so and so because we've got shared resources. We've had that in the past where newer troops, smaller troops, kind of. Uh, uh, do that please send me an email um, with that request um, but otherwise my whole okay. thing is I want to split you guys up so you get to know other yeah. troops and and that sort of thing okay no I think we're okay we'll be ready to camp where you spot us okay excellent good question Ernie I promise you, you won't be camping on the pond. Nobody will get to camp on the pond. <laughs> okay, good, good. Except for maybe my troop. I might put them on the pond in a couple of rafts. There's, There's a little island question. there. We'd be all right. <laughs> we got another question. Who is that? Yeah. Hey, Eric. Uh, Dale Highsmith here, uh, Troop 0590 yes, here in Wadsworth, Ohio. Um, yes. My question would be more about the fires and what we're supposed to do. Um, so are you saying that we should bring like a, a small little fire pit or we're allowed to have the fire on a, a fire on the ground? Uh, fire's not allowed on the ground. I uh, need to bring a small fire pit that gets the fire up off the ground. So it's all above Perfect. ground fires. Okay. Thank you. you. Make sense? Yes, sir. Now, is, is that going to be, uh, is that, going to work out for you, you got that available um, materials to be able Very to do that? Easy, yes. Okay, yes. good. Yeah, just wanted to clarify. Sure enough. Anybody else got any questions? All right, how did we do? Uh, was, this, uh, was this beneficial, helpful? Kind of a good reminder maybe for some? Uh, yes, very beneficial to anyone who hasn't been there, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Trying to, we're trying to improve it a little bit every year um, and do something different. We learn from past experiences. So hopefully we've taken what, uh, thank you, Andy. Uh, we've taken uh, the suggestions that have been made in the past and, um, you know, kind of, hopefully uh, make it go forward. So um, if there is nothing else, I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm sure you've got other things to take care of tonight. Um, and with that, um, Sean could, as our regional chaplain, would you mind closing us in prayer and technical guru for the night? My big, before we could do that, my thanks to each of you guys. My thanks to the entire staff that's working uh, diligently behind the scenes in, in order to put this together. Um, and uh, it is just a real blessing uh, to me to be able to work and, and to come alongside of each of you guys as you work tirelessly uh, within your troops. So uh, this, is, this is great and um, I, I really, um, it's just, it's overwhelming. So I'm going to shut up and let Sean pray. Gentlemen, honor God. Father, we are so thankful for your son, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, from whom we have everything that we need for life and godliness. And we are so grateful mm -hmm. for the privilege to entrust what you have given to us, to other faithful men, to our trailmen. And we ask that this year's Daniel Boone would be a great opportunity for us to 
encourage and to teach and to inspire our young men to follow the Lord Jesus Christ with all their hearts, to love the Lord our God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. And so we pray, Father, that you would go before us. Any remaining planning that goes on either in just the, the whole event leadership, but even in our troops leadership, we pray that you would help us to do that. And we pray for each trailman coming that you would uh, give them uh, exactly what they need out of this event to encourage them in their walk with you. And we thank you for this opportunity and for your leading in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Guys, I look forward to seeing each one of you um, here. We're 10 days out. So uh, it's going to be an exciting uh, 10 days. So um, God bless and have a great evening, guys. Tony, I'll give you a call here in a few minutes.